<laughs> yeah, I don't know if I have a plugin. You just go. There's a plugin, yeah. Is it the same guy? It's Jesus. <laughs> I was like, there it is. I can be using Kim's computer for all of these. Yeah, awesome. Okay. Right. Thank you. If we're done, can you just head out? Yeah. All right. Are we all on a mic? Yeah, we're all yes. Okay. We'll just go with this. Um. So this lesson is on viruses, and it's like the first lesson in the new unit. So we would have just finished a lesson on bacteria, and I would have been a brief review on just like what bacteria is, what are some characteristics of bacteria, what are the types, what um, what is it essentially, is it a living thing, why so, you know, different things like that because those questions tie into viruses. So I would have done just a verbal review of what bacteria is, just so we're kind of on that same like microscopic level, but it's like a time to do that. Um, Project 2, what is a virus? So here are some pictures of viruses on the web page. And just in looking at these four pictures, what do you think? Um, just analyze these, these, well maybe there are three pictures, but analyze these pictures, try to get a reaction out of it because I'm going to be asking you questions that maybe you can get the answers out of based on what you've seen. So after we go through these three pictures, I have seven or eight questions as a pretest for today's lesson. So here's the first one. And these are all electron microscope images of real viruses. Mm -hmm. yeah. Another one. Pretty narrowly looking. Okay. They are. Look at that photo short. Yeah. Okay. So let's go down and click the button below to answer a few questions on viruses. And the class number is written down on that paragraph, but it is. Seven six nine zero three nine. And this will take you to the um, the T. What is it? Self Socratic. Socratic or N Socratic. Mm -hmm. No, am I allowed to like start answering questions and things like that? Or? I don't think. Since I have to log in, yeah. I've got questions. Oh, you yeah. have enough. Yeah. Oh, okay. now that you log on, it's saying no way for you to start the next question. So you tell us that you hold on. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you see virus questions? Okay, yeah, two students. Awesome. Awesome. Old fashioned. Okay. Like that, they're just yes or no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you're really shy. <laughs> So, if you need to look at these pictures again, I know that they're just visuals, just to get you thinking, and don't expect to get all of them right. Don't expect you to know this. I feel like I probably get them all wrong. Yeah, they're kind of they're tricky because we have preconceptions of what a virus is, and the pictures make them look like something that they may or may not be. Let me go see the answers. I really wanted to do the whole like graph of people. Oh, answers, I, don't know how to do I want to go back and fix my answers. I don't know. Is it like set up okay? That's yeah, fine. You just asked a question at the end that made me think about. The differences yeah. between virus and bacteria, mm -hmm. and that made me realize that I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's okay because you're not graded on that one. Yeah. 
Good. That's just a segue into what we're going to be talking about. So what were the kinds of questions that were on that? Can, is the virus a living thing? Is it a living thing? Made of one Can cell it reproduce? Can it reproduce? Oh, your cell. The question yeah. said, is it made of cell or cells? And I didn't know if you meant, like, is it made of one cell or a lot of cells? Or is it made up of cells at all? Oh, is it, is it made up of cells at all? So okay. is it made of either one cell or can be made of one cell? Like, either yeah. or. Okay. okay, so if you scroll down just beneath that button, now we can do notes, and we have, as a review, the six different qualities of life. And all living things, all living things have these six qualities, and they are growth, metabolism, which is just converting energy, homeostasis, which is being able to adapt to the environment that it's in, cells, organization and reproduction. And so those questions are to get us to think, okay, those are living characteristics of living things. But I don't think I can play music. No, it's going. Oh, it's going? Then it's been going for a really long time. What? <laughs> okay. It's fine. Yeah, because it, it says, it on there right now it says like end broadcast, so it's just going to be done. Sorry, Mr. Mansour. <laughs> okay, so these are our six questions, and in going through the notes, we have like a checklist of everything that writers can and cannot do. Okay. So we have growth. Take out your notes, please. No. Um, growth, and you guys would know these because this is something that we would have gone through and talked about cells, just like in the very beginning of biology, you talk about what's a living thing. Um, Okay, and so I won't write them all, but we would have like check or X, like yes or no. Yeah. Um, and so we'd go through all of them. Can a virus grow? Um, I would give my explanation, while well, you guys would, would tell me what you think. Like, what did you answer in that question? You know, you said this virus can grow. Well, viruses can't grow. Yeah. <laughs> you answered yes to <laughs> everything. So that, would be, that would be no, viruses cannot grow. Okay, they maintain this one, like, they can break apart. But when you grow, that means that you're making more of yourself. So like, if we cut our elbow, we grow back those skin cells. We're making more of ourselves. A virus can't do that. It can break up into its pieces and then reassemble, but it can't make more from what it already has. So no, it cannot grow. Um, metabolism, can it ingest something and get energy out of that? Doesn't it make no? Yes. Well, I don't know. I just answered yes to everything. I didn't know. <laughs> like, you would have gotten four of those wrong. <laughs> oh, so most of them were, though, yes. Most of them were that, you, that a virus cannot do these things. So yeah. for growth, a virus cannot grow. Um, a virus cannot metabolize um, energy. It cannot adapt to its environment. Um, is a virus a cell? That's a tricky one. Let's put that link on the site for cells. Mm. And it shows us this picture. So for a cell, we have all these different organelles in the middle. We have sorry, uh, <laughs> oh, degree, yeah. Um, so here's our cell, right? And it's incredibly different from our virus, right? So for a cell, we're compartmentalized. We have different organelles with different functions. And within those organelles, we have different um, like microscopic molecular organization. Mm -hmm. And a virus doesn't have Right. Yeah. So it means we have growth, metabolism, metabolism, and up. So those four things. And we have two more. We have organization, we have reproduction. There you go. <laughs> No, that's true. Dang it! Um, yeah. <laughs> so for organization, this is when we go up onto our site again, <laughs> and we have virus organization, right? And you see this picture, and this is a picture of a virus. When you click on it, it's divided up into four major, or three major physical parts. Mm -hmm. And so this first part is the capsid. So this diamond shape, or what is that, like a, it's not really a diamond, it's like a water jar. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's the capsid, that's the head. And so in our heads, what do we usually have on the inside of them? A brain. A brain, 
right? Well, we don't have a brain or virus, but we do have the DNA. So then on the inside, you click this other button, so the viral DNA, DNA or the RNA that the virus has on the inside of it, but just because it has DNA doesn't make it anything. Okay? So this capsid, which I spelled wrong, <laughs> this capsid, this head, contains the virus's DNA. We go on to our second structure, this middle part, and that's the tail. Okay? And so the tail supports the head and connects it to this other structure, which is the tail fibers. And the tail has the purpose of taking the DNA that's inside of the head and injecting it out of the virus head. Okay? And so then that brings us to the tail fibers. And these things, yeah. So the, that, okay, that structure is, so the blue is like the cell, or the host that it's attaching yes. to. And then the whole red is the virus. Yes. It really looks like an alien. That's it crazy. Does. It really it does. does. That's really it nice. It reminds me of that octopus baby off the top or Toy Story. Oh, yeah. 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 It does look like that. It actually looks like that. I know. So. Yeah. So these tail fibers, what do they look like? It's fiber. Yeah. Like, oh, my God. like clamp onto yeah. that cell, right? The blue cell. Like they can latch on. Yeah, and that's exactly what they're supposed to do. And yes. so we have this DNA on the inside. It can go through the tail and be injected into the cell. So then we click on this next button here. Once the virus is fastened to the host cell through the tail fibers, the viral DNA is injected through the capsid and into that cell. Okay, so do we have organization? Yes. Yeah, we have different parts. Okay, so that is one characteristic of a living human virus. Yes. And then we have the last characteristic of a living human virus reproduction, and a virus can reproduce. A virus can die. You know, we have vaccines, right? Kill viruses. Um, and so then that's just a link to follow. Um, how can I ask how something can reproduce but not grow? Yeah. Like, is it like, because I'm guessing it's not like a starfish where their leg can fall off and then like can turn into another starfish. Right. It's not. Like it's that, it's right? not like that. Right. Okay. So here's like a cycle of what's going on, and we'll start with number one. Mm -hmm. um, first things first, the virus attaches to that cell, and what part does it attach with? This yeah, tail. Called, the tail, what's it called? Uh, uh, I know, hold on. Fibers. Uh-huh, yeah, tail fibers. So it latches on these tail fibers. Mm -hmm. Now, on the inside of the cell, that cell has its own DNA, right? Yes. So when the virus pushes its viral DNA into the cell, mm -hmm. It ends up using that cell's healthy DNA and mingling with it more to make some more, right? So it's so like a zombie. Yeah, it, 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 yeah, it, it, oh. steals, it steals that living cell's DNA and uses it against the cell. So now that cell is infected with viral DNA. Okay, so now we have all this virus DNA. And in using the cell's resources, it's able to take up these proteins, take up this The, the proteins, the enzymes, and the DNA of the yeah. cell to form new viruses, and then finally they can. So is it like is that how cancer would spread, or is cancer something completely different from something like that? Cancer is completely different. It's different. okay. Never mind. We don't have to get into that. I was just wondering if those on a, on another day. Yes. Okay. Next one. We will look at cancer. <laughs> and so that's just one way in which a virus can reproduce, and there are two, and so that leads us into tomorrow. How it's the other way. Um, and then we have a link of a list of Lydex, um of viruses that we can have that reproduce this way. Um, what are some common viruses that you guys know? You know the well, there are different kind of like not bronchitis. I feel like there's some type of is H1N1 is that a virus? Is it virus? <laughs> I mean, that how does it virus? It is. Yeah. It's like it's like pneumonia or that's bacterial. That's bacterial. Mm -hmm. But influenza, which is like the you know the nasty flu that goes to our schools every year, mm -hmm. that's a viral infection. So, like chickenpox is from a virus. And is it viral? You can only treat the symptoms. You can't actually, like, is bacterial. You could kill it. 
You can kill a virus. You can't. Well, okay. I mean, you're not killing something that's it's not alive, so you can't kill it, but you can destroy a virus. Okay. Yeah. I've just always been told, like, well, it's a it's a virus, so you can't. You can't um, actually. Or better kill yet, you can you can um, like what vaccines typically do is they prohibit. They shield the cell. Yeah. So, so it, it can't, can't reproduce. It can't. Right. Okay. Right. So is a chicken pox bacteria? It's viral. Viral. So that's why you can get a shot, mm -hmm. and it'll shield you from it latching on, so you don't get the chicken pox. Right. Okay. This is fun. I'm going to take yeah. class. <laughs> and then um, in the end, like for your homework. <laughs> But for your homework, you would be retaking a different assessment. So, virus questions number two. Oops. You'd be taking these questions, and hopefully yours also be easier from the previous time. Oh wait, we'll see. We know so much more. Awesome. So you, so virus is alive. Okay. Technically, because it can reproduce, but it just can't grow. That's the one thing I have a question, like, is it alive? Okay, in order for something to be alive, it has to have all six of these things at so the same not. time. So, so it's since not. it only it's has four. two of them, it's right. not. It's so that's not. why they say viruses aren't alive. Right. Okay. Great. Right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I learned so much today. Good. I got so much today. All right, so tomorrow <laughs> we're going to be talking about the Different type of. All right, just have to come and sit in your room and ask you questions about <laughs> stuff. I would love that. <laughs> you like, actually. No. Angela Mary, that's a moment. Ta da! There we go. Thanks for class. <laughs> okay. How do I log out? End broadcast.